this episode we are playing with dolphins and explore more of what Tauata can offer. We buy petrol and get lots of fruits locally and even manage to squeeze in a nice hike before moving back to our favorite anchorage outside this beautiful beach. In the previous episode we shared the reality of sailing, with hard work and projects inside a steaming hot boat, solving some problems and even creating new ones. Unfortunately, a major setback. And so now it's time to have some fun, explore and to be a bit social again. So we are going shopping and maybe we will see some dogs. Only a short dinghy ride around the point from our anchorage is the neighbor bay where the main village is here on Tauata. This bay is also famous for curious and playful spinner dolphins. And if we are lucky, they also will play with us today. Just gonna stop the dinghy here and have a look at the dolphins. So this bay must be like a dolphin watch bay <laughs> and it looks like it's some sort of tourist boats coming here to show the dolphins. I think that's a very easy job because the dolphins here <laughs> they really like to play and they show off. And, uh, as you can see they are not even shy, they come close to the boats. Um, uh, we had a few swimming close to our dinghy as well. So let's see if we can manage to capture it on video. Sometimes the best nature experience is when you just sit quiet and observe for a while to see what's gonna happen. But of course when it comes to these playful creatures, they lose their interest in us pretty fast. So after observing what the locals do, we wanted to try the same and just do a little round with our dinghy. Seems like these dolphins likes the sound of a two-stroke outboard. Once we started up our Yamaha, we got their attention again and I tried to go in a speed that I know makes the biggest pressure wave in front of our dinghy. This for sure worked out and instantly a bunch of dolphins comes to play. Playful dolphins in the bow of a boat never gets old, even though it's something we have experienced so many times and enjoyed from Be Free. Having dolphins playing only centimeters away from us sitting in a dinghy takes this to the next level. This is among the funniest dolphin experience we ever had and we could probably have been going on for hours. Unfortunately we forgot our underwater housing for the camera and also had to save some petrol in case we could not manage to buy it here. We hope to get a little food and petrol so we don't need to go back to Hivaoa as we really love this tiny island. Potatoes. This is how they get their supplies into this island. Quite labor intensive and sometimes it must be a bit challenging as well. The small islands are frequently visited by this combination ship and the layout so well formulated by our friend Carl, business in the front and party on the aft. Here they are still a vital part of the logistics and also something to reflect over as a visitor to these islands. The stores is not scaled for tourists stocking up their boats for the next passage. 
so you don't necessarily support them by buying a lot. Buying souvenirs, however, would probably support a bit, but emptying the shelves in the grocery stores? Not so much. Unfortunately, we did not succeed to get what we hoped for this time, which is totally okay. So we're gonna come back with Be Free this afternoon, and even made an agreement for getting some petrol from a local man tomorrow afternoon. This bay is a bit rolly, and also like many bays in the Marquesas, a bit dark due to tall mountains. So we are not gonna stay here as the solar is not getting much sunshine either. However, both G and I love to go hiking, so we for sure gonna explore this place a bit more before moving back to our favorite bay. Tiki's was and still are important part of the Polynesian culture, and kind of ironic that they are placed in front of the church. The Tikis is a cultural and religious half-god, half-man sculpture that they worshipped and feared. Maybe there is a symbolic thing, as they might even worship or feared even the church and the gospel shared there. And this beautiful, beautiful church. And thick wooden doors. We believe we have a huge responsibility as sailors being so fortunate to visit remote places like this. And this tiny grocery store is as far as we know the only one for this village and neither the selection or volume of things are scaled for sailors to come and stock up. So we try not to buy more than we absolutely need and even choose to leave some things out if it was only few left. Okay. You can't be on a French island, not even in the Pacific, without baguettes, huh? <laughs> baguettes, however, is locally made, and we bought one baguette as a nice treat to ourselves, planning on buying a few more later after the locals have taken what they needed first. Unfortunately, their baking oven broke down, and now they don't know when they again will be able to offer baguettes. This is how it is sometimes. However, in remote places like the Marquesas, things are not so easy. Sometimes the ship can't come because of weather, and sometimes they're out for maintenance or have technical issues, meaning without notice it can take weeks before spare parts or food supply again is delivered. Something to think about as sailors, trying to be a bit aware of our impact and the footprints we leave with only a little bit knowledge of how things works. Finally, we managed to find our man that should have petrol for us. Or more precise, he found us. He even offered us a ride to his home where his beautiful family welcomed us with smiles in true Polynesian style. And for the kids, tourists with dollars was just as exotic as the other way around for us. <laughs> Modern technology have of course also reached Polynesia. So with a video conference to some relatives of the family, G managed to have things translated and even the currency calculated. <laughs> <laughs> we know we not only paid too much for the petrol, and even not got the best exchange rate for our dollars either. But this experience cannot be bought for money, and they even wanted us to take a lot of fruit with us as part of the deal. So when they are happy, and we are happy even getting fruits, end of the day, this deal could not been better.
Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. <rire> One of the greatest challenges being a full-time sailor is to get enough exercise and to move our bodies enough. Yes, we do boat yoga, fixing things sometimes in awkward positions, but stretching our legs is something we need. So having the opportunity to hike up some nice roads or tracks is always something we try to do when we got the chance. The bonus is almost always spectacular views and beautiful sceneries like today. When you haven't charged the batteries for your drone, you might as well climb the mountains and make the drone shots yourself. So this is uh, the human manual drone. <laughs> it's time to head back to B3 and move her back to our favorite anchorage here. We have planned sundowners at the beach with our new Norwegian friends Rita and Jan, as they are setting sails tomorrow. So it's happy hour and the bar is closing soon. Hello. 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 Want a beer? Yes. <laughs> Gin tonic. Yes, and if you yeah. need some coconut, you can have this. <laughs> and then just take a palms and uh, so it, and then you have a lot of coconuts. <laughs> and this is how a real bushman from Norway is talking. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so I think uh, maybe it's a little bit uh, not so very good, I think, but uh, after an hour, I think you can cut this tree. Because you cannot climb into the pen. Oh, can, can, can you show us how to cut a tree? <laughs> it's a hard to climb. If you are not a local, it's very hard to climb. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this was a few beers later. Uh, <laughs> we're enjoying the sunset here on this beautiful beach. This looks really amazing, but the reality is we were soon to run out of here due to all the mosquitoes attacking us. And then you cannot put on either. If he has a plus two, you can put on and then it's for you. Okay, go for the Okay, bye bye. 
Even though Rita and Jan is sailing a different direction tomorrow, we are pretty sure we're gonna see each other again. Either in Polynesia, Thailand or even in Norway one day. That's why we always say see you later. We hope you enjoyed this episode and hope to see you back here next week as well. Much love from G and T on Be Free.